Hi, welcome to 90 Days of Prayer, Day 10. Today we read Psalms 10. What does the psalmist, the psalmist express at the beginning of the psalm? How are the wicked described? What does the psalmist ask for God? When it seems like wickedness and evil reign, we can call upon the God for help. As you reflect on this, pray in these ways or any other way, the Holy Spirit leads for those who are discouraged because they are experiencing God's silence, that God would move and help those who are afflicted by evil and wickedness. For the ability to cry out to God with all ourselves, asking God to speak when he seems silent for those in the countries around the world with evil leaders that God would break the reign of wickedness. Psalms 10, 1 through 18 says, Why, Lord, do you stand off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak who are caught in the schemes he devised. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and revives the Lord. And his pride, the wicked man, does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there are no room for God. These ways are always pro pro prosperous. Your law are rejected by him. He sneers at his enemies. He says to himself, nothing will ever shake in me. He swears, no one will ever do me harm. His mouth is full of lies, threats, trouble, and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims like a lion and cover he lies in wait he lies in wait to catch the helpless he catches the helpless and drags them off in his net his victims are crushed they collapse they fall under his strength he says to himself god will never Notice, he covers his face, never sees. Arise, Lord, lift up, lift up your hand, O oh God, do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account? But God, but you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked man. Call the evildoer to account for his wickedness that would not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations punished from his land. You, Lord, near the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them and listen to their cry. Defending the fatherless and the oppressed. So that you mer earthly mortals will never gain strike of terror. Thank you for joining us today on this Bible study. I hope this is a blessing to you as it is for me. Have a blessed day or evening. Bye.